So I started Bridgerton season three. So let me start off with Netflix Contra Days. Because <laughs> this show should have dropped on the 16th. It is now a day later. And it was not loaded to my app. It wasn't loaded to the app on my TV. And I had to like do some updating and something else. And then it populated, which is still weird because other stuff that has dropped appeared. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm in the middle of the first episode. And I have disgust, disdain, and just all out don't give a f-ness about two people in particular that's anthony and that's penelope penelope mainly for like the treatment of her cousin from season one i can kind of get over that because she we know she's whistled down and she got a lot going on but i'm still like eh, i got my eye on you i ain't really feeling you anthony i despise him down every season he has been draining exhausting and annoying and I bring this up because I think I'm starting to like both of them. <laughs> so Anthony, I can't stand that man. But there's a moment during the ball that's being hosted by uh, the Vivica Fox um, variant where she's like, him and Kate, they are so happy together. Those two actors are really doing it. I want to be clear. Jonathan, the actor, ah, great guy, does amazing things. But Anthony, I hate him. But there's a moment where they're dancing and then they sneak a kiss and they're like, it's the actors, I think, are having such a fun time and bringing a lot of light and fun and happiness to it that I'm starting to like them. And then though Anthony is the Viscount and so he's like the head of all. So it seems like we'll probably see him for the rest of the seasons. It does feel like. We got through the drama that was their season, and now they can just have fun. Now, I am, of course, in the first episode, so who knows? This might take a huge turn, <laughs> like, by the end of this episode. But I am enjoying them, and I think Kate, chef's kiss. So I'm, in, I'm, exci I'm excited to see how they maneuver and if they are now going to be the figureheads. Because we know we've had the mom, Violet, I believe, being the head of it all for so long, like to see them in this happy, fun, freeness, cool. Penelope, not feeling her, but then I'm also like, I get it. I get why she did what she did. I'm not mad at her, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm feeling you. But when she showed up to that ball in that like Parisian satin black teal number with the hair off on the side and all that, I was like, I don't, okay, maybe um basic maybe this met galliness of it all got me but i was like okay i think i'm kind of feeling what you put now and the show is doing a really good job at making uh making you kind of care because i i'm i was the biggest penelope and anthony hater for so long and i still am i'm not gonna relinquish that that title yet it remains to be seen how this season works out. Seeing Penelope catch everyone's eye after all that she has been through and these people have put her through was really like good to see. Um, I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel going forward, but this first episode really did it for me. Uh, I believe the other Bridgerton daughter, Francesca, if I'm not mistaken, popped up at the end of last season and she like popped up and I didn't read the book. So I knew there was like maybe one or two or have not been on camera, but I was like, eh. so she's here and I don't, I ain't really feeling her one way or the other, um, take her or leave her. But I think they're going to do a pretty good job at folding her in. Um, maybe it's the way she's styled, but she does kind of favor Daphne. Daphne has a more round face. This girl has like a more maybe angular face and for her being the youngest, I think I saw some critique, which was really silly about her, Francesca, being so much bigger and like taller, longer than Daphne. I was like, how many people have not seen siblings where the baby sibling is like six feet and then the older sibling is like five, three? Like, and also people bodies are different. <laughs> you pull genes from different parents and different grandparents and et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's silly. Um, all in all, I am kind of enjoying it. I am excited to see where they're gonna take it. Cause I'm like, y'all, we essentially doing the same thing every season. We're in the, the ton. 
for the diamond and the rough and whatever else we're like this silly mess I <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what drama comes because I didn't read the books. I know things have been changed. I'm, I, I'm just here for the drama. This is that familiar soap opera fix from when I was a kid watching Days of Our Lives and Guide and Light and everything else. So let me know if have you finished the first part of the season because I think it's broken up into two parts. May 16th and June 3rd. I don't know. Second part will premiere in June. How you feeling? Were you on board before? Do you hate it now? Did you hate it before? Do you love it now? Do you not really have an idea one way or the other? Either way, Lady Whistle Down needs to be exposed. And I want some cat fighting, some arguing, and some fisticuffs. So, <laughs> all right. One should expect to see the Queen's all knowing hand this season. You dare not question the Crown's influence, do you? Perhaps you might question Miss Francesca Bridgerton on the matter. And do report back. Oh, well, gee, please give around me.